Hey, welcome back. Let's be creative with tabs. Now, we all know tabs, right, in Elementor. They're dead, dead cool to use. You know, you might want to put, like, templates within the content of the tabs, like down here. You know, you put in a short code or whatever, so you can, you, you, you can, you can get them to do more than just being a simple tab with images and text. But when it comes to how much you can use them, there is a little bit of a limitation. If I go to, say, style, not style, sorry, content, I can either have the tabs horizontally or I can have them vertically. The one downside to this is that even if I have them horizontally or vertically or whatever I do, the content, especially for vertical, is always to the right of it. And what if I want to do something a little bit different? What if I want to have really long descriptions at the top for my tabs and then I want the content to appear directly below all of the tabs? I don't want them to be up there. With a little bit of simple CSS, you can do that. So I'm going to click on this tab, well, on the tabs thing, go to advanced, go to um, custom CSS. I'm going to dump in this little bit of code. It is a tiny bit of code. It's literally, seriously, it is tiny. That's all it is. This is, has a margin top of 250. Well, let's just set this back to zero. Okay, let's just put this to zero. Zero, zero. Right, we're back to where we were before. Nothing has changed. I'm going to change this now to be 100. In fact, no, yeah, we'll go with 100. It is now below, and I could actually, in fact, I could increase it to be about 130. Now it's way below, right? What about the margin left? Let's put a negative number in. Let's do minus um, 120. There we go, about 175 minus. Now the content is below. And if I go to my tab and go to style and set the border width to be zero, Okay, and I've now styled this to be a certain way, you know, however you've done it. Don't forget your tabs, These this is HTML, right? So if you dump in HTML where your text is highlighted or you've got images in there or whatever, in fact, I will do it here. Let's just do an image for tab one, okay? So we're going to dump down there and we'll dump in an image. Let's just go for this image here. Let's just dump it in. It's going to be a ridiculously big image. You know, obviously you do want to resize it and do what you want with it kind of thing. You know, you, you play around with it, right? So if we now preview that, you got tab one with your image. You could have a link in there. You could have some other templates, whatever you want. You got tab two. You got totally different content. So now you could have like tabs. You could have your tabs sitting vertically, and then all of your content sitting below. So have a think. It's another way of doing like FAQs where you could have your FAQ questions, but rather than the answer appearing directly below, which is kind of good and nice. But if you wanted like bigger, fuller answers to appear below. You could go with that. It could, you could even have like videos. So you might click it. You might have video one, video two, whatever, music, audio, however you want to mix it up. And then the content will appear. Um, dead, dead simple this was with just an easy bit of code. Look, I'll just, I'll take the code. Elemental tab content, elemental clear fix. Don't ask me about the clear fix. Sounds like super glue. Position absolute, margin, whatever is your top margin. And then whatever is your bottom margin just to get it in line. And away you go. Look, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'm Imran Web Squadron and I'll see you soon.